Hey guys, so today I want to make a video reviewing the book How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. I got this book because I found it at the store one day when I was looking for books and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I found it. Meanwhile, I paid $36 for it. <laughs> but let me tell you, it was real worth it. This book has absolutely changed my life. Basically, I'm gonna tell you the summary of what it is about, and then I'm gonna actually tell you, like, I guess my thoughts on it. This book is about some of the leading causes of death, well, all of the leading causes of death in the United States, um, or pretty much anywhere else around the world. So there's two parts to the book, actually. So the first part is talking about the diseases themselves, what is the cause of the disease, and there's some facts in there about certain foods and their effect on the disease, um, and it tells you what you can do to minimize your risks of the disease. The whole first part is mind-blowing because there is so much information. It's definitely life-changing. It covers a lot of things in it. I'm just gonna read off the different diseases it talks about, so if you are struggling with a disease or you know that other people in your family have gotten it, you might be interested in getting this book to learn more about the disease and what you can do yourself to prevent it. Um, and keep in mind, you don't have to buy the book if you cannot afford it. Um, Dr. Michael Greger runs nutritionfacts.org here on YouTube or on the internet, and um, he makes free videos. He doesn't make any money from these videos. He makes free videos to put out information for the public so they can get this information because he doesn't believe withholding information is good for the public. He wants to help everybody. Um, so some of the diseases it talks about in the book, heart disease, lung disease, brain disease, digestive cancers, infections, diabetes, high blood pressure, liver disease, blood cancers, kidney disease, breast cancer, suicide, and depression, prostate cancer, Parkinson's disease, and iogenic causes. So that's like um, death by doctor or treatment. So that's all of the first part. And then the second part is Dr. Greger telling you what foods he eats and what foods he recommends to prevent disease as much as possible. So basically what he recommends is Dr. Greger's daily dozen. And this is my own list that I have edited to put in my fridge, but he has a very similar one in his book and you can look it up online. So if you really can't afford the book and you want a summary of the book, follow this. Um, you won't have information as to why you're being told to eat these things, but one day if you make enough money to be able to buy this book, read it, you'll find out. Watch his videos, you might find out some, but I noticed his videos do not cover everything he talked about in the book, or maybe the videos um, didn't absorb as much for me, but reading the book completely absorbed for me. I summarized every single chapter. Here's my summary of even the introduction. And then on top of that, I left little notes at the top saying little statistics that I thought were important, and I did a lot of highlighting. And then on top of that, I also am going through again and summarizing each part on more paper so I can just quickly look at this, get my information, and that way if I give the book to family or friends to read, I'll have information still with me. Actually, before I even had the chance to read the book, I gave it to my neighbor to read because he and his family struggle with diabetes, type two diabetes, and they also struggle with their weight. And so I wanted to give him the book to read to help him. And also he's become pretty into the health aspect of eating and supplements and herbs and stuff. Um, he has always been the person um, to come over and give me books and little bits of information or just even sharing facts about diet and stuff and things that you can do to help certain things. So I gave him the book to read. Um, he didn't say too much when he gave it back. Might He might have been a little shocked at some of the stuff he just read about. And then I left it on the, the table kitchen counter for a few days and I was going to start reading it eventually, but I didn't have time. The book was moved or it disappeared for a few days. And I was like, hey, mom, where'd the book go? And my mom was like, oh, I, I read a little bit. <laughs> I 
was like, oh, that's great. So she didn't read all of it at all. She just read probably a little bit to see what it was about. And um, yeah, then I don't think she read anymore. And then I brought it with me to my new apartment and I don't have a job right now, so I have a lot of free time. Finally found time to read the book and this is basically all I wanted to say about it. It's amazing. It has all this lovely information. It's evidence-based nutrition. It's all studied. Actually, <laughs> this little marker marks where all of the sources start. All of that is sources. This is all the book. And it even cites the sources in text citation. So you can go and find them back here. It is packed full of information. It's just, it's not somebody just pulling facts out of their ass and making things up. It has so many things in it that I am going to begin implementing into my diet. So my what I eat in a day videos I post, you're gonna be seeing probably some new things compared to what I used to do. I'll have to make a video eventually about what I'm actually doing, um, implementing, so that way you guys have an idea of what the book suggests and um, yeah, anyway, this is the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you look into getting the book or at least nutritionfacts.org and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.